Well, we've known Dirk and Chet guys since they were kids really. And we even had some of them in, in tutoring. So we actually learned them how to play when we were young. Yeah, but, uh, we, we have known about uh, their band since they first started and uh, a bit of lucky coincidence for all parties I guess when Eric and Jet wanted to wanted Nemozine to, to uh, mix the album and as they were originally recording it somewhere else uh, that didn't turn out too good for them and we ended up doing the whole production here uh, which kind of came in a good time as um, we at Nemozine wanted to expand our uh, studio to uh, include all the bands as well not just the, the projects we were involved with ourselves so that be kind of it, it became a pilot project in the sense that uh, doing a full production for, for another band and it was uh, very nice to work with Derek and Chet guys because we know them and uh, the, I don't think any of us felt you know, any real pressure on the, uh, you know, with this new situation and uh, it was a very creative and good collaboration and I think it uh, came out really well in the end. Um, Erkinjot have um, a very diverse range of influences, I think. And uh, even though they take inspirations from different, a lot of different genres, and they have uh, very abstract ideas about the, what their music is supposed to to express, uh, I think there's absolutely some cohesiveness to it because I think they, they they choose their their themes and the way the way they put it together is very original and it makes it very much you know rec recognizable and I think that is perhaps where we at Nemozine could contribute the most as well because I think we we've also been involved with a lot of different projects and done music from from that perspective kind of regardless of genre and kind of mixing in what, whatever it took uh, and uh, uh, I think um, that can often be very challenging to, to try and convey someone else's ideas and, and be part of the whole production part of it but I think it was during the process of making the album uh, it was a really good communication and uh, uh, they, even, even the, though the ideas were abstract, I think the Arkinshut guys were uh, able to to express it in such a way that we could interpret that and and help out with how how to to make it happen in in the album. Uh, apart from that, it was really no big challenges. Uh, uh, we recorded the album in a very traditional way, the way we usually do here. We um, for the most part we record drums and very loud sources like guitars and everything in a different studio that we are kind of part owners in, Juke Joint Studios, a fantastic place with a lot of analog gear, huge recording spaces <clears throat> and um, then it, it's practicality of things digital and doing things here at um, Ivory Shoulder uh, where we do all our vocal overdubs and, and mixing and everything. So. Uh, a good combination of both, both the kind of big old-fashioned studio and and the comfort of, of working uh, in a more relaxed environment like here. As for the future of Nemosign, uh, I guess we'll just continue to do what we already do, mostly our own projects uh, and uh, then partly doing production work for all the bands and people we know and uh, we have no capacity really to take on a lot of projects because we're so busy with our own stuff at the moment we're finishing up on the last bits and pieces on um, uh, kind of an hour of music it's more like almost like a soundtrack to a poetry book by Hovare with recitation which has been uh, very interesting to work on and uh, we get all these kinds of 
more uh, experimental projects to work on and as well as very typical things so we just have to pick and choose and see what we have capacity to do and um, what we find interesting really so we're in a kind of privileged situation like that.